Joining us from Hanover College after its opening round defeat against Barry College in the NCAA tournament is uh, Coach Peter Priocannon and Courtney Crawford. Uh, Coach, we'll start off with you. Kind of your thoughts uh, tonight. Kind of a gallant rally from being 0-2 down, but you know, just came up a little short. We've done it before this year. I know the girls uh, knew they could do it. I believed in them. Uh, one server hurt us uh, for both the first two matches. They got the spread on us. We, were, we came up pretty good out of the gates. Got a good start, and then Service so he hurts a little bit, couldn't transition there for a little bit. Settled in, came back twice, showed we can play with him. Um, second set, I thought we might squeeze that one out. We were down like seven early and came back and lose 27-25. Um, you know, a couple great plays that didn't go our way, that, you know, one goes our way. It's, mm -hmm. it's the way it goes. Um, the girls were, were fought hard the whole time. I was very proud. Talk come out in the third set and actually we tweaked the lineup a little bit, uh, put in a new middle and got a different matchup for this middle and she had it was like seven kills and three blocks in the next three sets, which Gave us momentum a little bit, turned in our favor, which I was very proud of. But you know, uh, yeah, down with, dropped the first two sets, but it's about the fourth set. You guys were really, really rolling in that fourth set. You just, you know, played, looked like you were playing with a lot, a lot of confidence. Talk about, can you guys talk about the fourth set? Uh, we just came out and, <clears throat> you know, after off the high of winning that third set, and we just really, we all were clicking. We, you know, our momentum was up, our energy was high, and everything was working. You know, we were able to catch them on their toes a little bit, and we really shut down their hitters with our offense. And you know, passing was great, serving was great. So um, it was a really great game for us to just come out and we just fought really hard. Yeah, both teams really are pretty uh, on the block. You guys, the, both teams did good. Finished in double figures in the in blocks. So. Yeah, the big thing, even the pre matchup in our local newspaper was about, the, I think they were like second in the nation of blocks, we were third. I, I didn't huh. know. Like, well, it's going to be a block party, I guess. And uh, that's it came out to be that way. And, and blocking, service even blocking, turning. The, the serve on the baseline got, got either team off the net and offense a little bit, and then blocks took care of a lot of it. Either by stopping it at the net or, or channeling to a better digger. And that was the game. And in that fifth set, they're Again, that one set, server got, got hot, and we were running systems too tight to the net. Our setters are big, uh, because we were in a 6-2. So getting the balls out of the net sometimes a little tough for us, and that hurt us in that fifth set. And they got momentum going, and we swung hard, but and the block was there, because they knew it was going to go, because we didn't have a lot of options. Mm -hmm. So, um, But I'd say, again, I'm very, very proud of them. And that fourth set is how we played all year. I think we got the monkey off our back by winning that third set, showing that, yes, we deserve to be here, we really believe it. And the fourth set we came out like we had all year. Let's go and do this. Uh, fifth set, we came out like that, and just... That court broke down just a little bit, and then offense broke down a little bit, and then confidence just kind of fell a bit. But kudos to them. They made a couple of digs in there that were phenomenal. Like this one hand dig, one hand mm -hmm. pops. you got to give credit to the opposition there. They, they took control with what they were doing. Uh, and we weren't going away, but they just kept finding a way to put it down. So kudos to, to Barry for what they did today. Obviously, they probably maybe not have had time for it to stink in, but kind of thoughts on the year, you know, as guys get into the tournament and just... Um, this group has had a, a goal to, to win our conference and go to the tournament for three years now even freshman year, and we've been in the finals two years, we've been upset in very, very tight matches, similar to the one today. Um, this last year, we said it wasn't going to happen. Um, we're on a 15-game win streak coming in again, uh, did very well again, rolled through conference tournament, played very, very strong, much more consistent. Uh, I thought we had a great matchup with Barry, being the size and strength of the team, I thought this would be a lot of fun in this match, and it ended up being a lot of fun in this match. Um, my goal coming in was hopefully to move on, but at the same time, just to put everything we got out there, walk away with their heads up high. And, Courtney, uh, is obviously a senior, as the coach just mentioned, kind of it's been your your team's goal, and that's has to be a sense of satisfaction that you were able to get to the postseason. Oh yeah, this has been by far, sorry, I'm getting emotional, like one of the best seasons ever. Um, you know, like to go out your senior year, winning your conference, mm -hmm. and then making it to the NCAA freaking tournament is really awesome. <laughs> and so I know myself and, you know, the other seniors on the team, like we've been working at this so hard. And so to finally, you know, get there and, I mean, we have no regrets this season. We put it all out there, not just the seniors, the whole team, like going into this match, we knew that we had nothing to lose. And so we played our hearts out. All right, guys. Well, uh, congratulations on a great year and uh, thanks for coming out. Appreciate it.